What's up guys, we Caddy here and today we guys a brand new team building video. Well what we're going to be doing is building around Volcarona up in OU. Now this is a mon I don't really see too much on the ladder and I've never really used it too much myself so I figured why not we, we'll have a go at building a team around it, give it a go, give it some love and see how it performs from there. So there are two main ways that you can go with this guy, you can either go for the sort of fast uh, basically more offensive setup set or you can go for a more defensive set with leftovers and um, basically it's designed to set up on a few more threats and things like that like uh, it can set up more easily on scissors and stuff like that whereas this one is basically designed to set up once hit as hard as possible and just do a crazy crazy amount of damage I'm going to stick with the offense one. I'm a bit leaning towards that I don't like mons where I need turns and turns of setup for them to sweep I prefer one that can come in Take one turn to set up and then basically sweep from there. I just need to make the conditions right where this one can then sweep. So we've got 72 in HP there, which gives us a reasonable sort of addition to our bulk, which isn't, oh, it's, it's passable bulk, I would probably say. Uh, we've got 184 with a timid nature in speed. This means that we're able to outspeed Choice Scarf Landorus T at plus one, which is very, very nice. And uh, then we've just got 252 in special attacks hit as hard as possible. I've got the Lumberry on there because that means you can do things like you can set up guaranteed on Ferrothorns that might want to try and T-Wave you or even Clefables and stuff like that. It just makes your life a whole lot easier rather than having to set up on something else and, you know, having to avoid certain mons basically to set up on. Having that Lumberry helps a lot because a lot of these Pokemon, if they T-Wave you, break the Lumberry um, and then fix it. From there, you can normally Oko, so it's it's pretty good from that front. So I've been having a think about mons that could work really, really well with this guy, and one that works particularly well, I think, is Mega Sableye. Because obviously, Volcarona is not the biggest fan of hazards, as you can imagine. So, um, oh, actually, we won't set that as Magic Bounce. Um, no, we won't set that as, I oh, know, we're gonna set it just as normal Sableye. Uh, and we want the uh, norm standard Sableye set. I'm going to go for the Calm Mind set. That's personally my uh, preference on this. If my page is going to load, which for some reason it is not. Uh, what we can do is we can go, we can add some of these things anyway. So we've got Sableye with the Sableye Knight and Prankster. Here we go. Okay. Uh, wait, I don't want the utility set. I want the Calm Mind set. So this guy is really, really spooky. I hate facing it. So, uh, it's it's just a real pain to deal with. You've got the Will-O-Wisp there, which burns a lot of the uh, physical threats. And basically, you start setting up Carmines, and you just go crazy from there. And uh, start spamming Shadow Ball. It's not the best in terms of, like, the only dedicated wall on your team. But it's really, really nice for bouncing hazards back. And uh, stopping them, especially when you've got Volcarona and things like that around. Now, a Pokemon that actually works really, really nicely with this as a sort of defensive core is the Jirachi. Because, obviously, Sableye does not like any Steel types and stuff like that. So, having Jirachi around is really, really nice. We can have a set with uh, Leftovers. We're, actually, we're going to go for the standard specially defensive set, if I remember rightly. Uh, my internet's being incredibly slow for some reason. I think my parents are on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I mean, they're watching iPlayer or something like that. So, uh, we're going to go for the standard set here. Um, we could go for Fire Punch instead. Which would help us a lot with scissors and stuff like that. Or we can go toxic. I think for the time being we'll, we'll keep it a toxic. But uh, we can always change that up. And that's really nice to help us beat fairies and uh, things like that. So we can go 248 in there. And we'll just put an extra bop in speed in there. So this allows us to wish past potentials of Volcarona or even the Sableye. So that's really, really nice. Now the question is do we want uh, some sort of other defogger or something like that? Or do we want... To, let's have a think. So... One Pokemon that gives us a lot of problem at the minute is something like Mega Deancey. So we need to have a Pokemon that can help us check with that. We also need Stealth Rocks on this team as well. So maybe the final one to our core, uh, which would also give us a check to uh, Swords Dance Talonflame, uh, Mega Charizard X, which currently beats our core, would be Hippowden. So we can go for a Mixed Wall Hippowden set, which gives us uh, the Stealth Rock as well, which is really, really nice. And do I want to go for Stone Edge or... Whirlwind is the question. I think I'm going to go for... Let's see. We struggle a lot with Megazard Y. I must admit. So I'm kind of leaning towards having Stone Edge, but then we do lose to Bulk, uh, bulk Up Talonflame. I think we're going to go for Whirlwind. Uh, I could always try and get a check for um, Megazard Y into this team if I want to. But uh, as I said, Bulk Up Talonflame is the main thing that I'm really, really worried about this team. Because it could burn the Hippowdon and then... Basically, you can't kill it with stone edges as it starts bulking up from there. So that should help hopefully work pretty well as a sort of 
all round defense core. We've got stealth rock options there. We've got wish passing and all of that good stuff. And also some para flinching. Oh, not para flinching, just normal flinching as well. Which you definitely can't complain about. We could go for body slam instead of that. I'm actually going to be, I'm going to be evil. We're going to go for body slam on there. <laughs> just because I'm feeling a little bit mean. Okay. And then, we, as I said, that standard hip on set. So, uh, let's see. So, other things that could work well. We do need uh, potentially some sort of evil. We also need an answer to Megazard Y. Um, and also, no, actually, I guess we are okay in terms of, um, oh, what's it called? Mega Manetric, because Hippowden actually does check that, uh, fairly well, so that's not too bad at all. I think we're going to go for some sort of, uh, Lati, I think we're going to go for the Latias, because Latias has that special bulk. Also to note as well, Hippowden helps us check, um, oh, what's the Jiggy, um, Mega Lopani as well, because otherwise Mega Sableye obviously dies to that. Uh, Volcarona gets fake outed, so we do need to try and get that out of the way before we try and sweep with uh, Volcarona. We do have the Giga Drain to get our HP back, but still, it's definitely avoidable if we can. We do have the Flame Body as well. Flame Body is going to really, really help us if it does decide to try and fake out us. But I think, yeah, Latias is probably our best bet. And I just want to go for that standard supportive set. Um, but we do need, as I said, we do need a way to be able to hit that Megazard Y very hard. So we could potentially go for... Um, T-Bolt on that set as well, because that would also help us check things like Azumarill, which currently gives our team a little bit of jip, so that would be quite nice from there. If this is going to actually load, and it's not going to load. Uh, okay, I can remember the set. It's 252 in speed, uh, 184 in special attack, and 72 in HP with uh, a Life Orb, with Levitate, with uh, Draco Meteor, Psy Shock. Thunderbolt, and finally Healing Wish. So Healing Wish would be really, really nice because that means potentially if the Jirachi gets worn down or even our Sableye and we want to keep those hazards away, we can Healing Wish with the Jirachi, uh, with the uh, Latias and uh, that's going to help us a lot uh, in terms of, uh, you know, keeping our Sableye at a good amount of HP, especially if it gets somehow gets toxic by something um, or, you know, or, or something like that basically. Uh, let's have a look. What would be our best bet? We want, I want something kind of offensive, ideally some sort of Scarfer. Um, so let's have a look. What can we go for? So Gengar, we already have the Sableye, so we don't particularly need the Gengar. Um, let's see. How does Terrakion look on this team? So Terrakion gives us a ground weakness, but we've already got that. That's fine. Um, Terrakion could work quite well, but we are a little bit weak to ghost types, and I don't want to have something I get locked into. We could do have a fast electric. Maybe Thunderous would actually be quite nice. Because that can check a lot of the setup sweepers that I'm saying I'm, I'm worried about with this potential core. And uh, I think that's what we're going to go for. We're going to go for a Thunderous set. With Life Orb, with Prankster, as I said, we can keep rocks off the field, ideally with Sableye. So uh, I'm not too worried about um, that. If it's going to load, if it doesn't load, that's fine. We'll just go for... So it's Thunderbolt. Um, Hidden Power Ice. Um, I'm just going to work offline. Uh, Hidden Power Ice, Volt Switch and uh thunder wave so this gives us some speed control which is really really key and also some, some volt turn suite that is something we are kind of lacking right now so we can go for max speed max special attack and timid how are we doing we are do quite specially orientated um by the looks of things is that a bad thing we are actually let's see so we've got problems with chancy chancy is actually a really big issue uh so maybe this sort this thunder set isn't what we need we do kind of need a set to uh, handle chances and stuff like that. Even though, as I said, Sableye does wall it. But at the same time, we don't have anything else to reliably check it. So I think actually we might be better off with some sort of Keldeo set. Probably Scarf Keldeo, I would say. Um, could work quite well on this team. Because that gives me another check to set up. Uh, similar to the, the T-Wave sort of thing. And uh, another one that outspeeds Megazard Y. Uh, we can go for... Um, Let's see, so we want the uh, Scald, of course, uh, Scald, Hydro Pump, uh, Secret Sword, is it Secret Sword? Yeah, and finally, we could be cheeky and we could put Hidden Power Rock on this guy. What, what rock, rock moves does he get? He only gets the Hidden Power Rock. Um, or do I just go for the standard Icy Wind? I think we're actually gonna just going to go for the standard Icy Wind. We can still do a really good amount with Hydro Pump, even though it's under the sun. So I think we're going to stick with that. 
and put the last four EVs in that. So I think that's everything in terms of the team. So let me go know, guys, what do you think about the team? Are there any problems with it that you can see and all of that stuff? So let me know if you do enjoy this, did enjoy this. Don't forget to leave a like down below. I would really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out.